All right, we're back, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Buds Reacts. Today we're gonna to react to another Curse of that video. Um, what if the world turned to gold? The gold apocalypse. And um, I have an hypothesis. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, what's your quick thoughts? So my hypothesis would be um, the world would turn to madness because people are trying to harvest it all. That would be my hypothesis. And also yeah. part of me thinks like, okay, if it's all gold, then people would also be used to it. So it might not be as... The world turned to gold, everyone would die. That too. That's your hypothesis. That's not a hypothesis. <laughs> Everything we need to survive would be gone. It would be gold. Scientific problems Can't like, eat what it all. We nuke stuff? Or how about we You're thinking this that from a logical perspective. Or who could forget? Yeah, Look I forgot. This thing. A logical it's over really here. Big. Continuing this proud tradition, let's explore the scientific mystery of what would happen to you if Earth suddenly turned into gold. The Midas Apocalypse, based on the ancient There's a name for this, the Midas Apocalypse. Who was cursed, oh. so everything okay. he touched turned into gold. <laughs> I was about to say, how do you think Midas? Before we can explore this scenario sense. with science, we'll first define the premise. Midas's curse is a very special phenomenon called magic, which allows us to modify physics. So what happens when Midas touches something and it turns to gold? An atom of gold has 79 protons and 180 neutrons in its Lost nucleus. Already. The electric force of the protons <laughs> and the electrons around them shapes the atom and gives gold its chemical properties, like that it doesn't rust and that it's kind of shiny and bendy. So to make not gold into gold, we have to change atoms. Let's say Midas touches a duck. Did you say that the gold the is kind of shiny and bendy? Who the hell bends gold? No, like I think when you when I think when you when you're talking about like when you like when you melt it down, like you can bend it, you can bend it how you want. Not just like hard gold. Oxygen gain electrons and protons and neutrons to become gold. Not only is the duck suddenly 33 times more massive, it's also much too dense. The gold atoms are far closer together than they like and repel each other violently, causing the golden duck to explode with the energy of half a ton of TNT, Hell leaving yeah. only gold dust and a very dead Midas. This is clearly not a very good way for Midas's power to work. So what? This is a pretty gruesome animation for some kids. Instead, <laughs> Midas's power uses the atoms that are already present and simply rearranges all particles in the matter he touches into gold. No matter is created or destroyed. Instead, atoms dissolve and the protons, neutrons, and electrons are reassembled to make gold. However, oh. gold is very dense, about 20 times <laughs> denser duck. than a duck. <laughs> Without adding any matter, the gold that duck right would there. be a very awkward kind of foamy gold with lots of tiny microscopic gaps. This is funky and doesn't explode, which is progress. Now that we've established a sort of magic that works, what would happen if Midas stumbles? What if he touches Earth itself? Let's freeze time for just a moment <laughs> and rearrange all the matter in the Earth. Hey, the trees too, what the hell? <laughs> just like the duck, the hey, Earth is now solid gold, but with many tiny atomic scale gaps. Said, what the hell? While these gaps weren't a huge deal for the duck, they're a big problem for the Earth. A spongy planet is not a thing that can exist as gravity compresses Earth, squeezing it together to close up the gaps. As a result, the Earth contracts, shrinking to two-thirds of its radius. If you're standing on Earth's surface, you'll suddenly find yourself in freefall, like on a roller coaster, as the ground sinks away beneath you. <laughs> but since the ground is falling too, it doesn't move away from you. It That's feels like someone dog. turned off gravity, and you and everything else would begin to float. But the ride doesn't last forever. It takes only 10 minutes for everything to crash down, and a weird 10 minutes it is indeed. And then, as abruptly as it started, <laughs> it stops. The collapsing Earth has reached its desired size, and gravity is suddenly turned back on for you. Hopefully you enjoyed your minutes of floating, because the ground and you with it crash into the planet at 30,000 kilometers an hour, making your body splatter like a oh, water balloon sick. as it hits. In one instant, <laughs> Solid, so we, you're right, we wouldn't survive. <laughs> well, no, duh, you couldn't survive anyway. If, if everything... Okay, this illustration went wrong. If you touched the planet, like he said in theory, and everything you touched turned to gold, and you touched the ground, everything that's on the planet would turn yeah, to gold like immediately. Even, the, even these buildings. Right? Buildings, trees, animals, that were, anything that 
us touching the ground would turn to it. But what if, like, say, for instance, like, because you said us. What if, like, somebody jumped at the moment? Then you're good. And then you had no resources to to live. So you're dying (laughs) in six days. Get smashed into it. But if you jumped, you would have been, like, higher in the air whenever, like, you know, how he said everybody would be, like, up Yeah, then you would come down just from one foot. At an even faster rate. Yeah, you come down, well, you come down one foot higher from that same rate, basically. Because that one foot, you jump, it's not going to change This is only the start of our problems, though, since Earth imploded supersonically. The kinetic energy of the implosion is basically equivalent to detonating a planet made of TNT. Crushed together under incredible forces... Earth's core reaches a million degrees Celsius, no a temperature closer to the core of a star than anything we're used to finding on Earth. As yeah, the yeah. Earth crashes into itself, how is there water? You see, the, the, anima- the animation went a little. Well, okay, well, hold on. You know, the water one I could deal with because you, you're touching the land. But the thing and the water like under the water would be gold. You know what I mean? Yeah, but the water under itself the water, isn't gold. Okay. An enormous I can see that one. Shock wave which Trees no. upwards, catapulting the atmosphere up and off. Yeah, water gone. The Earth's <laughs> surface temperature reaches Just hundreds like of thousands of degrees. Oh wait, but then again, he did say earlier that the water, that the planet would be at fifteen thousand degrees in the center. No, it would be a thousand, a uh, million degrees. Oh. The the sun is fifteen million degrees. Oh, okay, Anything okay, we're yeah. used to finding on Earth. As the Earth so yeah, crashes into it, itself, yeah. it generates an enormously powerful shock wave which powers upwards, catapulting the atmosphere up and off. The Earth's surface temperature reaches hundreds of thousands of degrees, and everything on it is instantly vaporized to a fluffy. You were already cloud. dead anyway. It starts to expand, but not by much. Yeah, but I think it means Many like anything that was left that over, scrap wise, buildings cloud, and stuff. While others boil off, escaping from the atmosphere. The golden plasma outshines the sun, while the enormous radiation lifts tons of material off into space. Yeah. Over the coming days, the plasma cloud cools and eventually freezes into a shiny little golden ball. Okay, maybe this type of magic doesn't work. <laughs> so if replacing atoms made the Earth so overdense that it exploded, and disassembling and reassembling atoms made the Earth so underdense that it imploded, there must be a sweet spot where the Earth does neither. Yes. What if so. Midas's power is such chocolate b- uh, bunnies? That an object yeah, turn that bunny into a chocolate bunny. An object with like the candy. same volume. That was close. Made from Golden solid bunny. gold. <laughs> <laughs> that magic is a little bit more magic and cuts a few extra corners, but let's see where this leads us. So, Midas stumbles again. Even though I. Can we just solve. Why not just solve the problem of Midas stumbling? Yeah, oh, we're yeah, clumsy. Is... Let's just ask Midas so this doesn't happen. Jesus, dude, quit stumbling. <laughs> not expanding. <laughs> got am, you got a problem. It's suddenly much more <laughs> massive. The density of gold is three and a half times greater than the Earth meaning the Earth is going to get three and a half times more massive. For starters, everyone now has to contend with surface gravity that is more than three times stronger. So if you're not a champion (laughs) weightlifter who's used to carrying around a few times your body weight on your shoulders, you're probably going to be slammed to the ground by your own weight. So Goku and everyone's training. Depending on where you were when Earth turned into gold, this alone could seriously hurt or even kill you. Trees and artificial structures collapse under stress they were never meant to sustain, while birds and planes and all things that were able to fly or float Dirty stretch down. to the ground Dude, all around you. Just... So this is and the third the scenario, and it's already bad. Gravity, <laughs> the weight of the atmosphere and also atmospheric pressure nearly quadruples, which is a bad thing if you like living. On its own, this won't kill you. Scuba divers can comfortably breathe air at these pressures for a while, but unfortunately, squeezing the atmosphere this much raises its temperature to 150 degrees Celsius, which is like the insides of an oven. Oh, the entire Earth's surface bakes, roasting anything it's and everything. There is no escape. Gold may be a metal, but it's about three times weaker than steel and also very malleable, which makes it very bad mountain material. The tallest mountains that can be supported are now only about two kilometers high. So whole ranges compress as their own weight basically crushes their base. It's hard to say what happens here. Yeah, We're probably in the giant earth. Yeah, it's the same. That's how you can shape it. And like, it's the same. You get it hot and you can. 
Remember that you remember how the being you were saying how is it like movable or whatever? Quakes yeah. and landslides That's how you do it. as the you planet is squeezed into it. a new shape. And it's not just mountain ranges. The differences between the continents and the ocean floor level out, causing the ocean basins to overflow, sending massive tidal waves over the Earth's surface. Yeah. What remains yes, is a planet made of gold, entirely covered by an ocean three kilometers deep, a super hot atmosphere, and a lot of dead Oh, we're a water planet. Water world. Hmm. Okay. There may be a lesson to take away here, but we're not sure what it is. We did all the maths, though. It's in our sources document if you want to take a look. If you learned anything in this video, let us know what it was. Yeah, we learned that you don't want everything so, to turn to gold, but that's the damn The things we in our shop are the reason we're able to publish videos for right. free. But it's... Basically, guys, go buy something from them and subscribe to them. Watch other videos so they can keep making videos because it costs a lot of money and they're a big corporation now. So what, um, we, learned, what we learned is that we should axe Midas before he touches anything. What we should learn is you strap that guy down so he can't touch nothing. Cause <laughs> damn, man, that motherfucker was just stumbling in all three scenarios. Come on, dog. So what happens if Midas stumbles again? That's How funny. No. That's like a that's a great that's a great scenario that they're like you know let's bring Midas into this story. Uh, I like yeah. how they try to use math three times and all three times it just <laughs> failed. <laughs> that was great. All right, if you guys liked and uh, enjoyed that one, be sure to like and subscribe. And, um, yeah, like I said, help us get to 250 subs. And we'll keep uploading some other, other stuff, other channels. And uh, whether you want to see, like, random funny stuff or, like, animal things or whatever it may be. Uh, or if there's a certain creator you like that it's really entertaining, be sure to share it with us so we can uh, check it out. And uh, if, if uh, I guess in the future, if people do share stuff like that, like this, we'll uh, make sure we shout you guys out too. So, um, all right, and have a good one. Peace.